Aloha, this is my homemade e-bike. I've got a mountain bike from Walmart. I got a Chinese front wheel 1000 watt hub motor kit and I built this little trailer that attaches to the seat post and in the trailer I've got four lawn and garden lead acid batteries. Not deep cycle or AGM, just regular old lead acid batteries. And this is my daily driver. I use this to go about five miles back and forth from work to home and there's about a 300 foot elevation gain on the way back. When I first put this configuration together, I was able to go about 11 miles so I could get to work and back on a single charge. And um, after about three weeks, these batteries have just completely gone kaput and I can get about five miles out of one charge. So I got to charge and I get to work just in order to get back home. So it's time to give her an upgrade. So I ordered some lithium bike batteries from China, which had to come via special shipping, which means no cargo aircraft or boat. I ordered a 52 volt 24 and a half amp hour battery from AliExpress. It took about a month to get here. It seems to be a good quality battery made from Samsung cells and I'm looking forward to trying it. Also went for a bigger hub motor. This is a 1500 watt hub. Comes with an LCD display. There's the throttle control. So it's a half throttle grip. Comes with the connectors. This is the motor controller. Some cabling that we need to assemble the brake levers and get it all connected together. So combine that together with the front wheel motor and then it comes with the wheel and inner tube and you've got yourself a conversion kit. So now it's time to get the build going. I've got the bicycle flipped upside down on top of my boat project which serves as a nice good size workbench. The new front wheel hub motor and wheel assembly just drops right into your existing forks and you tighten down the nuts and you're pretty much ready to go with that. You still got to run the cables up to the LCD control and also to the motor controller, etc. But for the wheel installation itself, it's pretty straightforward. And they've provided a decent all terrain road tire. Now it's time to get these old batteries out of the trailer and get it ready for the new lightweight and compact lithium battery. I've been hauling these old things around like an albatross around my neck for the last couple of months. This is going to be a real treat to get the lighter weight and the longer range of the lithium. It looks so nice without those old car batteries. I've decided to go ahead and foam in this battery so that it'll be held in place as we ride along.
I'm putting a little bit more foam than is needed to hold the battery in place because I want the edge of the foam to come up higher than the battery. I'm going to be using a wood shelf on top of this for holding cargo. So in addition to having the foam come up above the edge of the battery, I'm building six little pillars. Four at the various corners and then two in the middle. And these are going to provide little, little pillars essentially for the board to rest on so that it will not rest with the cargo directly on top of the battery itself. Plus it'll provide a little bit of ventilation and help to keep everything cool. After an hour it's cured enough that I can go ahead and pull the battery out. It still needs a couple more hours to cure and some further expansion will occur. Later on I have to trim up a little bit in order to get the battery to fit back in but then it fits snugly. Those little foam pillars work great in keeping this nice little cargo shelf off of the battery. With the old car batteries I was able to get one way to work but then had to charge all day in order to get back home. Early results are positive. The motor's got more torque and speed, and the range is greatly increased. I'm able to go from the south end of the bike path to the north end of the bike path and up and down the hill and use only about a quarter of the battery. Mm -hmm. 